In this video today, we will actually be working on creating a space. Yes, you say. Jodine, what? Creating a space? Yes. Hello, beautiful ones. I'm Jodine, the Hustling Homebody, and welcome to my channel. On my channel, I hope to inspire you to pursue your vision and purpose by equipping you with productivity tools and tips while also empowering you to create spaces that feel like home. So in this video, I'm going to be taking you guys through how I'm revamping my office. Pretty much my goal is to try and create a space that feels more work and school friendly. My office has previously been set up for just work life. I'm going to pretty much try and create a space that feels more appropriate for both working here and going to school here. If you're new to my channel, make sure you like this video and press that subscribe button. Those two things, like the video, press that subscribe button. And I post every week on Sunday. I'm gonna show you guys a brief look at what it looks like now. And then I'm gonna show you guys how I'm changing it and things I'm doing, some tips that I'm putting into action. So stay tuned. Of course, if you still haven't subscribed, what you waiting for? Press that subscribe button. It's right there. It's, it's right there. Okay. Bye. This is my office. So it's kind of a mess, as you can see. But this is what it looks like. I'm obsessed with that whiteboard. My desk set up. My bright windows. I'm obsessed. <laughs> That's my computer that I need to set up and a bunch of books that I just got. But yeah, this is what it looks like. is the day I get to show you the final product. This is how it turned out and I am very excited about it. I am currently standing outside of the office. As you can see, there is a penny on the floor, which is going to annoy me, but I'm not gonna redo this. So this is what it looks like. This is my bag, as you can see. It might not stay there, but it's staying there for now. It's usually one of my travel bags. So we'll come in. And as you can see, this is what this wall looks like. The artwork on it, <laughs> the door is closing. The artwork on it is by Bria Paints, which I really like. It's so nice, it's such a vibe. The piece of art next to it is from my friend Ophelia. She gave it to me for my birthday. She made it for me. Be on the lookout for her shop, y'all. But yeah, so she made that for me. And then when you go down, that's my snake plant. I used to have a bromeliad there but it died tragically and it's very sad. I just decided not to replace the pot. I really wanted a snake plant. So I put the snake plant in there and added some dirt and repotted it. So that's how it will look and that's how it will stay. I did not want to spend money on a new pot. This has all of my work stuff in it. So there are thank you cards in some bins. There are business magnets. There are letters. There are a bunch of miscellaneous stuff and then some binders in the bottom with information that I need. And I'll just turn to this side. So when you move this way, you see that little sign? Just a little sitting area. As you can see, I'm missing part of the baseboard, but this is what that looks like. So now we're gonna go to this side. On this side, we'll go down. This is what this looks like. This is a things to do board. 
Honestly, I bought it because I wanted to write on it, but it seems so fragile that sometimes I do not write on it. It has <laughs> writing on it currently, but so this is the Thanks to New Board. Um, yes, then this is what this looks like. So I completely redid these shelves. That has personal <laughs> notes, it has vision, uh, agenda, some personal stuff there. So that's like that. And then I already had that, so I kept that there with the blue. And then these are for one of my degree programs. These are some of the books that I've been reading or have read already. And then this, I got a binder for my textbook. Be on the lookout for that video, y'all. I got played. I bought a $90 textbook and it was three hole punched. So I need to get a binder for it. So that's what that is. If you recognize those folders, you'll see those in my grad school haul video coming up, what I got stuff for. Um, yeah, and then on this side, you see more, on this side, you see more books, uh, again, for my, one of my programs that I'm in. So that has all those books. And then these are commentaries, uh, topical stuff, uh, research stuff. Those are all there. Then we have my printer, which is living my faith right now. It keeps acting up. My little lamp, which I honestly haven't lit in a while, but then this is just like some supplies for recording that I use or some of the pictures that I'm taking. So I'm putting them in that corner for now. My a beautiful bookshelf. So as you can see, I swapped out the, I left the J, but I swapped out the plants next to it. When I got my original plant, which I really love, my, fit, my fig plant, it was from Ikea. And I only got one, not knowing where I would put it, just knowing that it was a good price and I wanted one to spruce up the space. So I've been looking for something that could be even. So I got these two. They were $4.99 at Target. I have been looking everywhere for faux plants that I feel okay with. That's that. And then when coming down, uh, just like a little knickknacks and stuff. Those are my friends. Look at them for my birthday. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's topic. Some of them are organized by topic, like personal growth books. That vase, sometimes I'll put a candle in it. Um, when I used to buy a lot of Bath & Body Works candles, I would put the candle in there and then light it and then it has a beautiful glowy look. But So these are a lot of books that I actually have from writing my thesis, but I love these books. They will be staying with me forever and I return to them often. So that's that. This is my mug. I love the mug so much. This is me at graduation. Yes. Um, and then, of course, my mammoth for my undergrad. <laughs> and then another gift. So that's that. And then you'll see my books organized. This is the card that I repurposed. It used to have hair stuff in it, body hair stuff in it. And it was in my closet in one of my rooms. And I could just roll it out. I repurposed it. I might do something different with my hair supplies. I'm still trying to figure out if I just want to buy another cart and do it that way, which is what I did. Or if I want to try a different system. If you know, tell me how you guys organize your hair supplies. <laughs> I'm very interested. I've changed my system three or four times, but that's not what y'all are here for. So this has the planners that I use most regularly. So you'll see my goal planner on there, which usually sits on my desk. I'll probably include it later. What my desk typically looks like, the way that it looks now is not always how it looks, especially when I'm working in the day. So that's my cultivate planner. That's my go-to planner, like that planner right there, y'all, bae. Uh, that's my daily, which I'll have on my desk sometimes to do hourly planning. And then these are just a bunch of other ones that if you watch my planning videos, you'll probably see some of those eventually. Lotion, stay moisturized out here. Hand sanitizer, who am I seeing? But clean hands, everyone. <laughs> this actually used to be on my desk if you see the original footage, but I decided I wanted a clear desk. So I put it on this cart and I love that it's on this cart. It has a bunch of random stuff. There's a whole system to all of that. Then these are my sticker books. I hate that they're not consistent, but the bigger sticker books that I have, they have outsides that face like that. Um, but the other ones just, they have pictures on the sides and stuff. So, but I love it because you can just roll it out and use it. And I can just put it next to my desk if I want to use it. Roll it wherever I want to go. If I want to go to the lemon room plan, I can roll it there. So now let's roll it back. So down here, you'll see that there are a bunch of notebooks. They all have purposes for them. I have one of my Bibles that I use for academic things. I have uh, my go-to blank <laughs> notebook, that brown one right there. My students will tell you, you see me everywhere with that. It's 
it's an OG. That's what the cart looks like. Whiteboard, which someone put up for me and I'm so grateful for. And then I recently just printed pictures. So there, there, those are some of my babies, not all of them, but, oh, look at that reflection though. Okay. Um, yes, I added these shelves. These shelves, are, all the things on these shelves are reused, <coughs> except for the shelves. So I paid around 20 ish dollars for these shelves. There are three of them, but I only decided to put two up. I think that three would be too many. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments if you think I should try and put the third one up. But I did this myself. I am very proud. Yes. So <laughs> anyway, so these, this is my shelf. This is my family. And then you see my little homebody candle right there. Love that. Got that from Posh Candle. Be on the lookout for my candle, black owned candle company haul. Sorry guys, the lighting might change a little bit in this because the sun is just doing what it wants to, but I'm glad it's here. So this is the Ikea plant that I referred to earlier. And then these are my most current academic reading books that I've been doing or going through. They're kind of my uh, TBR pile, small TBR right there that I want to keep near me on my desk and offside, outside of the shelf. So that's that. This is my computer, which as you can see, I still have not used. My friend thinks it's weird. Then I have these down here. So just very random. Washi tape, some supplies. And then I have some candles in the bottom. And then you'll see some wipes because they clean out here. And then my laptop stand, which is usually on my desk. I'll insert a clip of where it usually is on this desk, but zooming out on this desk, this is what this looks like. So this is my Echo Show, which I originally got because I needed the time in my office, but now I have this computer, so I'm debating where to put it, but I might just keep it there. It's calming. I like being able to talk to her. She gave me some ideas about that. Keyboard, my calendar. I will say that I love the calendar itself, but I hate the fact that there is this gold line on it. I also use multiple calendars because I would like to be able to flip back and forth to the month. So we're in September, but I often plan ahead, which you will see in my how I plan for the semester video. So that's that. And then this rock, I had it already, but it just looks different, you know, when you squeeze it in place. These are some of my most used pens. I only use black ink regularly. So as you can see, they're all black. I use highlighters and certain types of Sharpie pens to emphasize things, but that's only when I'm doing certain studies or I'm studying or doing something like that. But otherwise, your girl is a black pen only person. You won't catch me out here with blue ink. It's not happening. These are my beauties. Like, I love this picture. I love this picture. So this is me and my family on one of my, on my graduation day for my brother. And I love that picture. And then it has like my aunt, who's like my second mother, and my other aunt, who I'm really close with. So I love that picture. Then I have this lamp, which as you can see, is still wrapped up because I'm debating it. I had another lamp here and I got it from Ikea. I really liked it. It was a good price, but I have not been able to find a shade that I like. So I'm trying to see if I'm gonna keep this lamp. It's a $20 lamp. So in all honesty, who really knows what would be happening there but then yes that is that i am so happy the shades are open right now because if not the lighting looks a little different i really really like this office i wanted somewhere that felt cozy i wanted a space that had an equal amount of my work stuff and my school stuff but that felt calming to be in and yeah so i kind of modified the look to adjust to the new living situation and working situation. That's how it looks. Wow, hello friends. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Bye.